Hey everyone, what's up? This is Jacob Sugarman speaking. Um, I, uh, yeah, I'm doing okay. Um, uh, the only people I, I made this album with are currently in a porta potty, smoking cigarettes. In, they're doing it inside the porta potty. Um, I don't really know how I feel about that. Um, I, personally, I don't think I like it. Um, smoking cigs inside of a porta potty is not really a not really a, a wholesome activity to do. Um, it's also it's bad for you. It's bad for the environment. It's bad for the porta potty. Um, but I just thought I'd, I'd take this time to kind of warn you guys what's going on in this album. Uh, this is a real album. This is an album that I that we made from the heart, from the soul. Um, there's a lot of things on this album. There's highs, there's lows, there's ups, there's downs. There's emotional moments, there's happy moments, there's free moments, there's fun moments, there's horrifying moments. There's really everything you could ever hope for. And with that in mind, I want you guys to really just keep an open mind with this album. Just keep in mind that, you know, we're just having a good time, we're just having fun. Uh, we're just having a good time. Uh, it's not really important what you think, what you think you know, what you think you've seen. It just matters what you experience and who you are and what you've become and what you will become over the course of this album. So really listen to this as kind of a therapeutic, holistic approach to making your life better, um, making your love better, making your liberty better, uh, surviving, fighting for America, fighting for our freedoms, fighting for truth. These are all things that we're going to do together in the course of this album, and I, I just thank you all for coming. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you all for coming along with the ride. Um, and hopefully by the end of this album you'll learn a lot not only about yourself but also about the world in which we live in um, I yeah so strap on in and have a dandy old time brother thanks for coming along two, two thumbs up five stars And lick those souls. I love your toes. I'm a toe freak. I'm a toe freak. I'm a toe freak.
I'm a toe freak. I'm a toe freak. I'm a toe freak. And there are times in your life when you're alone. And there are times in your life when you've got no one to hold. That's right. And there are times in your life when somebody close to you must die. And for me right now, George H.W. Bush is that guy. I miss you, my guy. Once upon a time, I met a guy. He showed me how to bomb a rack and kill a guy. Ooh, ooh, he didn't touch the deficit, didn't raise the deficit, no. But he can get the rest of it if you know what I mean. I mean this dick. George A. W. George A. W. Wanna come inside of you? Oh. George A. W. Wanna come inside of you? And I wanna touch you, wanna love you, wanna hold you. Like I did before, now you're in the grave. I'm not gonna let that stop me. Oh, 
George H.W. Gotta tell you Your son Jeb Bush isn't yours He's mine I gave birth to Jeb
stirred and spoke with a clear voice, indeed with a voice clearer and more powerful than Sam had ever heard him use, and it rose above the throb and turmoil of Mount Doom, ringing in the roof and walls. I have come, he said, but I do not choose now to do what I have came to do. I will not do this deed. The ring is mine, 
and suddenly, as he set it on his finger, he vanished from Sam's sight. Sam gasped, but he had no choice to cry out, for at that moment, many things happened. Something struck Sam violently in the back. His legs were knocked from under him, and he was flung aside, striking his head against the stony floor as a dark shape sprang over him. He lay still, and for a moment all went black. And far away, as Frodo put the ring and claimed it for his own, even in Samuth Naur, at the very heart of his realm, the power in Barad's door was shaken and the tower trembled from its foundations to its proud and bitter crown. The Dark Lord was suddenly aware of him, and his eye, piercing all shadows, looked across the plain to the door that he had made, and the magnitude of his own folly was revealed to him in a blinding flash, and all his devices of his enemies were at last laid bare. Then his wrath blazed in consuming flame, but his fear rose like a vast black smoke to choke him, for he knew his deadly peril and the thread upon which his doom now hung. <laughs> For nothing are they often chosen from the ranks of commercial models. The dominant taste derives its ideal from the advertisement, from commodified beauty. Socrates' dictum that beauty is the useful has last been ironically fulfilled. The cinema publicizes the cultural conglomerates' totality, while the radio advertises individuality, the products for those whose sakes the cultural system exists. For a few coins, you can see the film, which costs millions. For even less, you can buy the chewing gum behind which stands the entire riches of the world, and the sales of which increase those riches still further. Through universal suffrage, the vast funding of armies is <clears throat> generally known and approved, if in absentia, well, prostitution behind the lines is not permitted. The best orchestras in the world, which are none, are delivered free of charge to the home. All this mockingly resembles <laughs> the apes, the human one. Something is served up for everyone. A provincial video visitors comment on the old Berlin Metropolitan Theater that it is remarkable what can be done for the money has long since been adopted by the culture industry and elevated to the substance of production itself. Not only is a production always accompanied by triumphant celebration that has been possible at all, but to a large extent is that triumph itself. To put on a show means to show everyone what one has to do. The show is still a fairground, but one incredibly infected by culture. Just as people lured by the fairground choir, they expected it in any case. The moviegoer remains tolerantly loyal to the institution, but the cheapness of mass produced luxury articles. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go off on a tangent here. I just don't understand why the fuck 
or Geimer and Adorno would write a fucking three page paragraph. This shit just makes me mad. Like, who the fuck do you think you are that you can just, like, think you're worth going on for three fucking pages? Like, it's 1947. I'm Pickle Rick. I'm Pickle Rick. Bitch. Big song. Oh, we're gonna keep that right.
calls me Rooster. 3531 USMC Reserves. American flag emoji. Hornitos, California. O1 F250 7.3 liters. Flat Z7 F6. 86 Nissan 720. HVH Demolition Derby. Snap Rooster V Williams. Throwback Saturday, I guess. Just wanna build again already. Hashtag 62 Caddy. Hashtag 318. Hashtag Mopar. It's a picture of my car. Weekend well spent. Trevor SAR. 50.56 millimeters. Hashtag Traver, hashtag SAR, hashtag 556, hashtag 223, hashtag Bow and Barrel. These are my cousin's Instagram posts you're reading that I'm reading right now. I'm related to this motherfucking person. That's fucked up. Quote, fall asleep late, have fun, get wild, drink whiskey, and drive fast down back roads with nothing in mind but falling in love and not getting arrested. Unquote. Hashtag Jack Daniels. Hashtag Copenhagen. Hashtag Barnwood. I had shamed of my relatives. I'm ashamed of them so thoroughly. Super Smash Bros. sucks.
My name is fucking John Coltrane. Okay. Oof. Ah! Sensitivity. The man who laughs has simply not yet had the terrible news. What kind of times are they when a talk about trees is almost a crime? Because it implies silence about so many horrors. That man there calmly crossing the street is already perhaps beyond the reach of his friends. Who are in need? It is true I still earn my keep, but believe me, that is only an accident. Nothing I do gives me the right to eat my fill. By chance I've been spared. If my luck breaks, I'm lost. They say to me, eat and drink, be glad you have it. But how can I eat and drink if I snatch what I eat? from the starving, and my glass of water belongs to no one dying of thirst, and yet I eat and drink. I would also like to be wise. In the old books it says that Wyndham is to shun the strife of the world and to live out your brief time without fear, also to get along without violence, to return good for evil. Not to fulfill your desires, but to forget them Is accounted wise All I cannot do Truly, I live in dark times I came to the cities in a time of disorder When hunger reigned there I came among men in times of revolt And I rebelled with them So passed my time Which had been given to me on earth 
My food I ate between battles. To sleep I lay down among murderers. Love I practiced carelessly. In nature I looked at without patience. So past my time. Now it's body time! Which I had given to me on earth. Now it's body time. All roads led into the mire in my times. My tongue betrayed me to the butchers. There was little I can do but those in power sat safer without me. That was my hope. So past my time, which had been given to me on earth. Our forces were slight, our goal lay far in the distance. It was clearly visible though I myself was unlikely to reach it. So past my time, which had been given to me on earth. You who will emerge from the flood in which we have gone under, remember when you speak of our failings, the dark time too which you have escaped. For we went, changing countries oftener than our shoes, though the war of the classes, despairing, when there was injustice only and no rebellion. And yet we know hatred even our meanness consorts the features. Anger, even against injustice, makes the voice hoarse. O oh, we, who wanted to prepare the grounds for friendliness, could not ourselves be friendly. You, when the time comes at last, and man is a helper to man, think of us with forbearance. Time is it? Uh, guys, hey, can you stop? Guys, hey, no, fucking stop. Guys, fucking stop. Guys, fucking stop. I want to make this album. Which way do I hold the flute? You're being okay. Can I show you? No, no, no. I, you're fucking you're so dumb. Come on. <laughs> Wait, let me try. Let me try. I played flute every day. 
Guys, fuck you. I want to play. Whose performance are you? Guys, I want to make this fucking. Wait, I, I, I just made it blazing YouTube. Yo, Timothy McAllister can suck my motherfucking hairy friendship. Yo, you want to talk about Tim McAllister? Yo, what's up? Did you mean Josh McAllister? No, I didn't. I remember my fucking saxophone professor. Do you guys want to start a podcast? Can we do a podcast for like one of our tracks? For what? For one of our tracks, can we do a podcast? Yo, pat me that bag. Pat me that bag, though. Yo, pat me that bag, though. Dude, can you fucking stop? I want to make this album. You're being kind of annoying. I'm trying dude. to learn how to play the flute, bro. Dude, I wish you never lived here. What are you doing? I'm Ryan, kind of lightheaded. is anybody else sober? Ryan, flute, and it's Yo, what the fuck? Similar to Jewel. What? What I'm the fuck? I'm kind of into it. I feel like what the fuck, guys? What did you say? Stop! What are you? Stop. Don't do that! Don't put that there, dude! Fuck! Shit! Guys, fuck! <laughs> Guys! I've lost control of the situation. Nice. Guys! Shit, it's Kendrick Lamar! Guys! Fuck. <laughs> fuck this shit. Society of mankind. Well, I have the answer. The University of Michigan. Here we have everything you could possibly need. Student debt? We got it, bitch. Sadness? We got it, bitch. Crippling insecurity? We got it, bitch. Everything you could ever need is at your disposal here at the University of Michigan. Why don't you come? Yes, I see a question in the back, good sir. Why, that's a wonderful question, but only a fool would ask it. You see, here at the University of Michigan, we excel in all the sciences. Yes, a question in the back. What are you even doing here? What am, what am I doing here? 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 What? am I doing here? What? What am I doing here? What? What am I doing here? BITCH! <laughs>
Just underneath, I got the taste of the last cigarette on my teeth. And she's an actress, and I swear she's got me. Right, I'm Nobody else has done it first In fact, if anybody ever thought of it I bet those motherfuckers did it worse
veterans high school so she called on the last remaining strain to drag herself out to the privy in there in the year 12. And ceremoniously, she has to learn exactly when she does it. And she, I'm totally confused, she says, after this, how oh, she could scarcely have to judge the real bush for the servant's privy that's in the heavy snow. And you are like, it got drained and made a mess. For all that lives needs help from all the rest.